Horses are on the track and pretty the pose for the third race. Fillies and mares, condition pace. A one molly purse at $2,400. Exact is in try. Scratch the four moment as Meg sick. Down to a field of eight. The one smoking pistol owned by Iris Horowitz of Brooklyn, New York. Trained by Debbie Rucker with Sam Chipnoble the third. Number two is our personal girl, owned by Jay and Kim Shermonte Sears at Deerfield Beach, Florida, trained by Jay Sears, Cow at the Lines. Number three is Is a Can Can, owned by Lowell Prickett of Wilmington, Ohio, trained by Tom Prickett with Jason Brewer. The four momentous Meg is out sec. Number five, Belief Thus, owned by Rose Adams of Franklin, Ohio, trained by John Ingram with Dave Hawk. Number six is Glen Willow Lady, owned by Gary Risco of Hilliard, Ohio, trained and driven by Fred Huff, Jr. Number seven, Early Country Star, owned by Daniel Cardi of Chillicothe, Ohio, trained by Clarence Gilliam with Adam Rucker. Number eight is Anita Crombie. The lessee is also the trainer, Tom Blankenship of Asheville, Ohio, with Jeff Fount. And for the outside of the nine is Endures Forever, owned by Pamela Yoder of Dalhart, Texas, trained by David Yoder with Bob Harper, Ian Hersulke. Motion. They're all fan pacing and firing out of there for the lead from the outside. There's the seven early country star is on the go in between horses. Glen Willow Lady is also driving out from the rail. There is Smoke and Pistol. Up on the outside in four, that is Anita Crombie along the rail racing in five, our personal girl. Six there, that is Isa Can Can. Seventh, that is Belief Thus. And eighth and trailing the field, that is Endures Forever. As they race around the first turn and over to the opening quarter, an early country star. But now up on the outside, here's Smoke and Pistol by the initial quarter in 29 and one pep. On by the stand for the first time and heading on down to the half and on top of the field now Smoke and Pistol. Anita Cromer to the outside in two. Along the inside, early country star is racing in third, a gap of a length and a half. Racing in fourth, that is Glen Willow Lady. Outside in five, that is Isa Can Can. Sixth and buried to the rail, that is our personal girl. Seven to the outside of there, that is Belief Thus. And eighth and trailing the field endures forever as they race around the clubhouse, turning on over to the half with the lead that is Smoke and Pistol over the outside of the Overland route there. That is Anita Crombie in two. They reach the half in 59 and four fifths. Along the inside, racing in third. That is Early Country Star. Up on the outside, poised second over, racing in fourth there. That is Isa Can Can along the rail in five. That is Glen Willow Lady. Less than three-eighths of a mile remaining. On down the back side and Smoke and Pistol with the lead here by length and a half. And to the inside, Early Country Star is still right there in the garden spot, racing in two. Swung up three wide of the outside there from third. As they approach three quarters, that is Belief This and looking for racing room now. That is Glen Willow Lady. Three quarters on the board and 130 and one fifth. And Glen Willow Lady ran into some traffic there. And she's all bottled up as they turn to the top of the stretch. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come and Smoke and Pistol got the jump on them. But to the outside, Glen Willow Lady is coming to her and coming on his church. Hard, and Glen Willow Lady is zooming on by. Glen Willow Lady is getting up to win it. Smoke and Pistol to go second. Our personal girl was third at the time of the mile. Two minutes and one fifth. Glen Willow Lady in a new lifetime mark. The inquiry sign has been posted by the stewards directed against the unofficial winner of the third race, the sixth Glen Willow Lady, for possible interference just past the three-quarter mile mark of the race. Possible interference on the six-horse Glen Willow Lady for possible interference just past the three-quarter mile mark of the race. Again, this does involve the unofficial winner, number six, Glen Willow Lady. Track side of the winner's circle, surviving the inquiry here. Here's the six, Glen Willow Lady. Glen Willow Lady, a two-year-old daughter of Lusty Leader under a skip along Patty Mayer, she by Satanic, owned by Gary Risco of Hilliard, Ohio, nicely trained and driven by Fred Hoff Jr. The time of the mile of two minutes and one fifth establishes a new lifetime mark for the six Glen Willow Lady here in the third race. The six horse, Glen Willow Lady, now posting the sixth win of her career a talented two-year-old daughter here of Lusty Leader. Two minutes and one foul. Here's the top to bottom finish for the third race. The one smoke in pistol, two. The two are personal girl, three. The three is a can-can, four. 